I traveled deep into the Pine Barrens to visit the Tracker School. It's an encampment where survival expert Tom Brown Jr. teaches all ages how to stay alive in the wilderness. Tom can track and find people lost deep in the woods. He's been called by the police, even the FBI, to find fugitives in hiding. He's been operating the Tracker School for over 30 years, and people come from all over to learn what he knows. So when people come here, what do they learn? They learn how to survive with nothing. It's called the purest attitude, where if you found yourself in the wilderness with just a bathing suit on, you learn from the ground up. Make your own tools, toothbrushes, fire shelter, find water, teddy bear, whatever you need, yeah. blanket. Yeah. They learn everything from, you know, the basics. How long do they stay here? Well, most classes are a week, a okay. week long. They'll set up their tents and stuff, and then we concentrate on the skills. All day we go from lecture to workshop, lecture, workshop, pretty much nonstop. The people who come here, are they campers? Like, they do this all the time? Do you have people like me who would be really a fish out of water? We've tried for years to figure out who comes through, yeah. and I have to say everybody. Really? From state senators and governors to homeless wanderers to everybody in between. In addition to survival skills, campers also learn how to live in harmony with nature. It's something Tom learned as a child. My best friend when I was growing up, mm -hmm. his great-grandfather, we just called him grandfather, mm -hmm. was a full-blooded Apache, uh, from a Lipan Apache from the Southwest, who came up to visit when we were just seven. And he stayed until I was 18. Oh. So every day after school, every weekend without fail, we were back in camp here because I had this insatiable obsession mm -hmm. for learning this. and. That's how it all began. And then for 10 years, when everybody else went to college or trade school, I wandered North and South America, tracked for the police, the FBI, and things like that. You know, kind of built the reputation that way. One of the survival skills grandfather taught Tom was building a fire without using matches. That is now taught in a basic class. Campers make a bow drill from sticks and branches. And with friction and pressure, they produce smoke and coal and then you'll see the coal smoking. Now, it's really what has smoking. to happen now, we gotta get a flame out of that. So just out of forest litter that's dried, the flame, you'll see it start to glow. When you see it glow, just open that bundle so they can see it. He's gonna get fire in, it, in his hands. It's yeah, and then it goes right into a fire structure. It's like your match right there. Once okay. that's lit, it's like a match or a lighter. I feel like he's doing a magic trick. Yeah, oh, I see it. very soon. That's incredible. There it goes. And then that would be put into a fire structure. So like a teepee fire, which would catch. That's incredible. Tom took me on a tour of the camp and we came upon a debris hut. Building this is one of the first things taught at the camp. It's a basic structure with lots of debris thrown on top. There's no clay or anything, because it kind of, that's what it looks, it looks like there should be some form. Squirrel's nests, if you ever look at them, oh or any kind of a big mouse nest, same form. It's a long pole yeah. that runs to the ground. Two poles that come up, yeah. fork sticks to hold it in place, and then ribs, and then just throw the debris on. I could do the throwing the debris on. Yeah, I mean, actually the whole thing is so simplistic to build. The, the children's classes, they, this is one of the first thing we teach children to do because it, shelter is number one in a survival situation, followed by water. If I only had one survival thing to teach, it would be this. All right, let's go see some more, please. Okay. On our walk, we came upon another exercise that teaches how to balance without using your eyes. It's a skill used for stalking. In our modern life, with our controlled walking environments, we've moved our, our sense of balance to our eyes. And in the woods, that doesn't work. We gotta get to the inner, vision, inner ear, so to speak. And a lot of times, you're stalking and moving at night. So you don't have see. that visual horizon, so to speak. And blindfolding is a magnificent tool of teaching body sensitivity, as well as sensitivity to all things in the environment. Everything here is slow. 
Absolutely. Yeah. And everything in the world is fast. It's fast. And the two don't mesh. Yeah. If you keep that speed back here, you see nothing, you experience nothing. But if you can slow down, yeah. as soon as you get into any environment that's natural, if you take 10 steps very slow, you'll find your whole mechanism, internal mechanism slowing down, your internal clock slowing down. So if in fact you went back to your normal pace, it would feel alien, mm. like it doesn't belong. Yeah. And it's one of the greatest lessons you can learn in resetting that clock to reap the rhythm of the earth. All right, let's head back to camp. Okay, great. On our way back to camp, Tom had a little surprise planned for me. Track. Yeah. All right, I don't see anything. Okay, the ground is trying to be flat because okay. of gravity. If it is not flat, it's a track. Okay. See how that's a circle? Yeah. A feral cat. You see how that in there is pressed down? Yeah. That's a deer. Wow. You know, when you see tracks on TV, it's very clear. Yeah, there's another one, a feral cat. They go right up here. This is part of the class you would teach yeah. people? Yeah, tracking. Wow. You can come out now. Oh my gosh, are you crazy? That's called the setup. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's unbelievable. If I had come to your class, would I have known he was there? Would I have been able to You'd have been sense able to... that he was there? Yeah. Well, thank you for that. That was a good All lesson, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thanks. Aside from my scare on the side of the road, I really like the tracker school. It's a place to learn how to be still, be aware so that if ever needed, you could survive in the wilderness. And it's right here in South Jersey.